you progressed quickly and impressively as a pro just as you did as an amateur. There's been a lot more changes behind the scenes as a pro. So you've had, you're on your third trainer now as yeah. a pro. You've obviously switched promotional deals from being with Haymaker and Ringstar to now Ringstar and Frank Warren. Yeah. How's that been for you kind of as getting kind of, has it been quite up and down for you? I mean, or do you just kind of leave it to a team in the background making all those changes on quite a frequent basis? Well, yeah, I've got um, two managers, Adam and Sam, in S Jam, and you know they've been uh, been there with me from the start. So uh, they've been the one constant, really, haven't they? Yeah, uh, yeah. So uh, I started I started off my journey with uh, David, who uh, you know is really a great character to um, start off my journey. Obviously, with um, which Schaefer as well, but uh, it's really good to be in camp with him um, leading up to, you know, he's got a lot of experience in self-promotion and also like, you know, his diet and his training regimes, it's really, really good to uh, spring start my career and having, you know, the likes of Ishmael Salas, um, he was like the trainer for David and um, the Haymaker team. So it's great to, and it's also one of the reasons I made a good choice in having that start. Um, you know, so it really helped me, uh, like, learn and uh, really get the technique and uh, biomechanics right um, for a year. And then uh, when... Uh, kind of David lost to uh, Bellew and then it all kind of fell, fell apart and um, you know Salas went you know, off into like retirement so um, we had to find or semi-retirement so we had to find another coach and um, uh, so Sam kind of got in contact with Abel and then we went we went there went to up to Big Bear to see uh, see what it was like to do a trial uh, with him and uh, you know it got on really well I, I enjoyed like training there and um, you know had a couple of fights under him and um, but I, f I felt that I you know I belonged in the UK and it is um, it's a bit too much like traveling and and stuff like that um, in between places so um, it was good that uh, because Sam had already been t been talking to uh, um, Adam Adam Booth, but then he wasn't um, he didn't have the the time at that time to to train me and um, it's only because of Sam's persistence that um, he managed to agree to it and so we had so we came back here had a meeting and that and um, I did another kind of trial to see how we got along and uh, we gelled so uh, here I am I've had a had another fight and uh, this one coming up. And uh, things are going well. I'm uh, learning stuff and uh, doing a lot of pads and uh, a lot of leg drills. And, you know, I think it's really good. Is it fair to say Adam's got a fair bit more in common with Ismael Salas than he has with Abel Sanchez? Yeah. Yeah, I think so, yeah. And uh, it's like I picked up where I left off almost from what um, Ismael Salas was teaching me. Uh, but, I, you know, it's not to say that I didn't learn much off Abel. Abel, um, you know, taught me how to really, you know, you've seen Golovkin, you see how he puts them like um, massive hooks into people. Like people had to wear like body armor to spar him <laughs> some, sometimes. So his, uh, his training, his regime is very rigorous and, uh, you know, taught me a lot in that regards. And uh, to, you know, really be a tough, uh, you know, to be able to take a punch and to give one, it, you know. He always seems to focus more on your physical attributes rather than the technical side compared to Adam, for example. Is that, is that accurate? Yeah, that's a, yeah, that's a fair assumption. So now it's more about, as you said, a lot of footwork drills, pad work, working on your movement, explosivity, because that, that's kind of what's seen as the Adam Booth style, I suppose. Uh -huh. And to, like, get your head off the line and... Uh, yeah, not get hit. <laughs> not get hit as much. 
<laughs> which I prefer, yeah.